Hello, everybody. Coach Simmons here. This is going to be the last part of a, a series I was doing, um, basically about the Great Migration. It was the movement, mass movement of African Americans from the South to the Midwest to the Rust Belt, 1910. Honestly, starting after the uh, Tulsa riots, a Tulsa massacre, to around 1970, two years after the killing of Martin Luther King. Right now, we're in another mass movement, another mass migration, back to our roots. But the question we have is not how can we go back? Because we're doing it. The question I want to conquer now is something a little deeper. What is fueling HPC growth now? Before I go anywhere, I want to give a shout out. I want to give an actual thank you. To my sponsor. Eventually. When I'm on tour, we carry hand water around on the tour bus. <laughs> we carry it in our little, you know, uh, carrying cases, make sure we have enough. As a singer, our voice is our instrument. So much of your vocal health is determined by your overall health. It's so important for me to be healthy and, and to be hydrated. I drink hint water a lot, actually. Yeah, I keep it right there next to the piano. Yeah, it's right there every night. I drink at least one on stage when I'm, uh, when I'm out there performing. I try not to drink sugary drinks because I, I want to stay in shape. Sugary drinks really don't add that much value to your lives and they make you fatter, so I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> yes, we all remember the photos about our family, our heritage, our history. The movements that were made, the grounds that were broke, fighting for education, fighting for freedom, freedom to learn, freedom to get equal education, while others ran, some stayed, and we appreciate them staying, standing up, universities like Alcorn, Alabama State, Rosa Parks. Black Power Movement was something that helped bring us on equal standing, equal foot, giving us pride that we had lost long ago. But here's an issue. We did not need to sit back and wait for someone to give us pride. But then they did it anyway. Showed us being leaders can be. Now it's like your mom, grandma, they've retired. They're coming back home. What's bringing them to the South? Great migration lasted three quarters of a century, flowing in the 1970s. Now, Americans are moving to the South in large numbers, reversing the Great Migration that was started by higher wages. Right now, they're re-enrolling in our schools, reinvigorating the colleges that were left behind. It's no longer an insult to go to an HBCU. It is now something to be proud of, something to brag about, something to showcase. This is what these kids are doing. 
they're not going to just one HBCU. They're coming to all of them. And they're bringing the mentality their grandparents brought to fight, to claw, to go ahead and get ahead. Yeah, I said that. To go ahead and get ahead. This is what we know. This is what we see. There is nothing stopping us coming back home. But now, we're grads. More black bachelor degrees have happened in the last five years, any time in recorded history. We're coming home to do what's called reverse gentrification. We're the ones buying up the businesses and abandoned properties and fixing the world that our grandparents left behind. And when it comes down to it, there's always been one question. What is fueling this movement? And it's not Coach Prime. What's fueling this movement right now? George Floyd. After killing, assassination, lynching, whatever you want to call a George Floyd on national television, our kids realize there is nothing in the Midwest that is not in the South. They want to get to our spiritual roots being disconnected from Africa, but being connected in blood in America. They're coming home to right the wrongs. Me and you, your mama and your cousin too.